you find out that it's by saying God's word that the power and ability that's already in that word affects your life. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Well, people say you talk about Holy Ghost worship as if it were a thing. It is a thing. It may not have been a thing before, but it was hidden for a time but now it's a thing it might not have been a thing where you were brought up or even where you are but it is a thing and it has become a way of life just like breathing breathing in and breathing out say breathing in, breathing in. and breathing out. breathing out using the words i worship you holy ghost is like breathing for the first time a lot of people haven't been here a lot of christians have never been here this is the life you worship the holy ghost and you speak in agreement with his word there's life in it second peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost what do these holy men of god do they spake say they spake, they spake. as they were moved by the holy ghost so the holy ghost moved upon them to speak the holy ghost moved upon them to breathe out something and what were they breathing out what the holy ghost wanted them to say so they were breathing out promises by the holy ghost do you breathe on a regular basis yes is that part of your life is it part of your lifestyle yes right, you do it at night when you're not even thinking about it but it, yeah if you don't have a lifestyle of breathing in and breathing out well you're not living very much second timothy 3 16 all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable that word inspiration means the breathing out of god matter of fact a lot of translations say all scripture is god breathed he breathed it out mm -hmm. we saw in that other verse right that the holy ghost moved on these men to speak and here it says those scriptures are given by the breathing out of god they're god breathed what are the scriptures say the scriptures, the scriptures. are god breathed he breathed them out when the holy ghost because we know it was the holy ghost who breathed into them right he breathed them out and in those words were his breath the life of god the faith of god the power of god the will of god all of those things came and he breathed them out as words what's in those words then the life of god the faith of god the power of god to what bring themselves to pass it's already in those words that he breathed out does this make sense his words are containers of his life force of his faith and his ability he breathed them out in word form his words are containers of all of these things matthew chapter 4 verse 4 it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of god man shall live by 
there's a vehicle here by how am i gonna live every word that proceeds out of the mouth do you know what that means yes spoken yes. man shall live by every spoken word of god man shall live by every spoken word of god you shall live you shall have life you shall have a greater life either greater or lesser you will live by every spoken word of god say i will live, I will live by, every by every spoken, spoken word, of word of god there's greater and lesser amounts of life you could live big life mm -hmm. small life if it's not spoken then there's not so much living going on there mm -hmm. the more speaking you do listen the more speaking you do the more life you will live are you getting this mm -hmm. this is how you live this is how mm -hmm. man shall live it's by speaking the word of god this is how the life of god that's already in those words remember because he breathed them out mm -hmm. it's how the life that's in those words begins to affect your life you speak them if you speak his words the life that's in those words already begins to affect your life and your situation that's how his word and the life that's in his word gets into your life and gets into your situation say my life, my life is, in is in the spoken word of god, word of god. where's your life in the spoken word of god. what if what if you aren't speaking the word of god That's life. then you can't live by it are you here this is better than i think you think it is i live by every spoken word of god you know everybody goes oh yes i live by the word of god no you live by the spoken word of god it's his listen it's his spoken word out your mouth that affects your life it's his spoken word out your mouth that affects your life it's his unspoken word the unspoken word it's his unspoken word that does nothing for you that's why most of you have nothing you have to see this you have to find it the Bible talks about finding it you find out and you figure it out that it's by saying God's Word that the power and ability that's already in that word affects your life my life is in there say my life is in there, my life is in there. I live by it or not proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20 says my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings what are sayings spoken words, spoken words. things that are said words that are said words that are said verse 22 for they my spoken words my spoken words are life to those that find them they have to be found they my sayings are life to those that find them his sayings are life to me because i found it his sayings are not life to those who don't say them they haven't found it who will his sayings be life unto those that find them those that say them because their sayings are you here yes. this is a doing knowing thing people that do it will know it and find it people that don't do it won't ever know it and will never find it do what you say saying his word you have to say his word to find it 
that's the doing the saying is the doing say the saying, the saying is the doing and when you say it and do it you will certainly find it and those who know this see some people are sitting there and they're sitting there shaking their head yes yes i know i know this is how it's done other people will just they'll say yes i believe in that but those who do this know it they know that in the saying of the word is life to them and there it says and health to all their flesh for they are life the saying of his words the said words are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh or medicine to all their flesh or healing to all their flesh what is the said word that you found the life in how do you find the life in it by saying it if you haven't found the life in it yet you haven't said it enough you have to keep attending to the saying you have to keep attending to the saying mm -hmm. say I have to attend to, to, attend to, the, to the saying, saying. And if you do this you will find the life that's in it it will heal your physical body it will fix your finances and prosper you it will do whatever the promise is that you're saying because the life is in it the said word of God yes. it is life to those who find it the spoken promise the spoken word of God manifests itself and says here I am that's when you found it it manifests itself and it said here I am and then you found it are you here mm -hmm. it's like if you had something lost around the house and then all of a sudden you found it right it was hidden for a time but the saying of God's word causes it to manifest in your life and then you find it by saying it by saying it and through the process of saying it you find the life that is in that verse itself are you ever going to find it if you don't say it no you have to breathe it out and as you breathe it out you find out what's in it for they his spoken words are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh health to all whose flesh the ones who said it and found it are you getting this say if I say it, if I say it I'll, find it. I'll find it and then it'll be health to my flesh or prosperity in my bank account what does this have to do with the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost is the one who breathed all of these things out in the first place all scripture is God breathed by the Holy Ghost Proverbs 10 verse 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and adds no sorrow with it what makes rich the blessing of the Lord what is a blessing it is speaking forth in the positive over someone I am what I am by the blessing of the Lord say I am, I am what I am, I am by the blessing, by the blessing of, the of the Lord what is the blessing the blessing is speaking forth of things over Holy Ghost worshipers live here they worship the Holy Ghost and they speak in agreement with his word and these things that they've spoken come to pass and they find it a blessing is words spoken there is no blessing without saying words a scriptural principle a blessing is words spoken a blessing is words that are spoken the breathing out makes me the thing said say the breathing out, breathing out makes, me makes me the thing said 
the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow with it the breathing out blessing the saying over of the Lord that makes when the Lord says something over you you are blessed and it makes you something that you weren't before when I speak the word of God over my situation it blesses me and makes me something I wasn't before mm -hmm. this you saying God's word is him the Holy Ghost breathing on you you want that you may have wanted your inheritance some other way but it came in the form of a blessing words that are spoken you wanted it some other way but this is how it came this is how God delivered your inheritance to you words that are spoken say words, words. that are spoken second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 says all the promises of God are yes and amen so here we have a list of all the benefits if you listed out the promises that'd be a list of benefits those benefits include healing and health youth renewal longevity prosperity and wealth and abundance more than more than enough deliverance from all your enemies check you got a list there you check them off if you didn't select it as part of your benefits package don't blame God he already spoke them forth you select them by saying say I select them, I select them. By, saying. by saying the said Word of God comes to pass in your life the said Word of God comes to pass in your life have you found this out it's something you find or you don't find mm -hmm. how do you find it by saying it and all of these promises are backed by the promise himself the Holy Ghost who said them in the first place this is the breath of life to your finances this is the breath of life to your physical body and your healing and your health and your youth renewal saying God's Word is breathing the Holy Ghost's ability into your life breathing out God's Word if you're breathing you're living if you're not breathing you're not alive you ever you ever see that they'll go uh, what what was the cause of death and they'll say they stop breathing yeah. right mm -hmm. this is breathing out breathing in is worshiping the Holy Ghost breathing out is breathing out his scriptures and they begin to manifest in your life and you find them you find them mm -hmm. they show up and say here I am John chapter 20 verse 22 and when he had said this he breathed on them he Jesus breathed on them and said unto them receive ye the Holy Ghost when you worship the Holy Ghost you are receiving him as God that's breathing in breathing out is to say his word say his scriptures say his verses say his promises and they will begin to come to pass in your life quickly and surely we thank you Holy Ghost that these people have had revelation today of how to walk with you the living God in the earth worshiping you and speaking in agreement with your word and yea says the Spirit Lord they shall find the life that's in those words if they continue to speak them forth they will come to pass in their life in every facet and we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you, I thank you. 
that your words are life to me for I have found them and your blessing makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it in Jesus name amen Right here.